friends, it's Teresa and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me discussing or showing off some of my favorite covers on, from the books on these shelves. Now, I say some of because I want to get more books off these shelves to show off, but unfortunately when I pull a book off, they're all so attached and love each other so much that the other books come toppling down and I do not want to risk my health or the health of my Funko Pops to show y'all aesthetics because these Funko Pops mean more than life, and even though Steve Rogers in this outfit is the is the Steve Rogers that held off Thanos, he cannot hold off a lot of books in this in this current form. So, we're gonna get started. I did try my absolute hardest not to choose books like uh, books of the same authors, but I'm weak. I'm very very weak. So we're gonna first start off with the cover for Ev for the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I don't know when I first saw this book on I believe Emma Books's channel. I fell in love with it. It gave me such Marilyn Monroe vibes that I was like... We gotta read it. But I just love this so much. I love this book. I love this book. I love this book. It's one of my favorites. We have a Cuban bisexual woman in here. We have a lot of good LGBT rep. Lots of good, his good mentions of the historical th themes going on in this time frame. Good book. The cover is gorgeous. Like, look at it. It's just so good, and I recommend. It. The next one is another Taylor Jenkins reads books. And if you guys are looking at my shelves, you probably know which one that is. But that is Daisy Jones and the Six. I have the original cover, which the original U.S. cover, which is this, and then two versions of the U.K. cover. I would say I love the U.K. cover. I do. I love, I adore the UK cover. I love the end pages on it. Like this one has, doesn't have anything fun, but the UK cover has show tickets as end pages. It's just a fun, funky cover, but I like this cover because I think it kind of expresses more of the American aesthetic of the 60s slash late 70s, like late 60s, early 70s, I believe, with kind of like the muted tones, the kind of peachy, peachiness. And the kind of obscure but somewhat sexy kind of that the model is giving you on the cover. I just really love the 60s aesthetic. And by aesthetic, I mean the clothes and the color palette, not so much the racism and the homophobia and the sexism or the war. But the aesthetic in terms of just the pure aesthetic, like the clothes, the color palette, the hair, the jewelry, I love. The rest of it can go away. The, the aesthetic of it itself, like the bell bottoms, the funky sleeves, the crop tops, can stay. That's all. The next book is another book that is missing from the shelf, which should be no surprise, but that is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This is one of the UK, uh, I believe, Waterstone special editions that I snagged because I have no self-control. I saw this and I was like, I'm paying the 40-something dollars to get it, to buy it from the store and get it shipped to America. Like the original cover for the US cover is like black and red and then this one is just blue like it has blue with some silver foiling. I like it because like the cover, the paper itself feels kind of like the look of it looks like it'll have like some velvety text like almost like velvet kind of texture to it if you guys get what I'm saying and then the fun part, the, ed the sprayed edges. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous cover for a, a, a pretty good book. I need to give this book a reread, but like, it's just so good, and like, like I feel like it's, it's good. I love this cover. It's one of my favorite covers of all time. This book's actually a 2018 release, and I mentioned it on my channel like once, and that is To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. This is a Little Mermaid retelling. So I'm going to say, because it's kind of weird, but I love this book. There is a theme here. I love a lot of like blues and like kind of ready tones and like lots of greens. There are very few books in this pile here that don't fit that aesthetic. But if you guys can tell, it, it's like a kind of like a a sunset ocean kind of vibe that my aesthetic here is going. We have a lot of peaches and like reds, lots of blues and greens, which says a lot about me, but that's fine. This actually fits the those sort of aesthetic very well. Like it has the gold foiling for the title. We have the o the literal ocean and then tentacles kind of showing the monsters that are the sirens in this situation. And then the end pages have like this kind of weird 
almost like bronzy gold kind of sheen to them makes it look very rustic i haven't read the book in a hot minute so i couldn't tell you what my thoughts were but i i believe i enjoyed it it stayed on my shelf since 2018 so i'm i enjoyed it moving on to another one and that is the beautiful barony aj i don't know i like kind of simplistic covers as well especially since this is about a vampires in new orleans and it's just i love like the red on the inside like the inside um, cover and then kind of the, the splash of like almost a, bl a black gray with like the splash of like the, the silver chalice and the red kind of like I want to say they're roses almost but it also looks like it could be like a material out of a dress that kind of symbolizes blood which is like very aesthetic and then also very telling of the book I don't know the end pages oh yeah the end pages is like it just is just very red yeah this very red map of New Orleans of the time absolutely go gorgeous cover i also really love the damned but i haven't read that one yet so i didn't want to include it in this one so there might be a part two a favorite cover who knows the next one is an ember in the ashes by saba tahir it's a YA high fantasy it's pretty popular it just finished i think last year or early this year again we have more of my favorite aesthetic which is like the orangey kind of colors and then the gold like that gold foiling <laughs> I I did I had meditations picking up the book because the original cover was like not it just didn't speak to me and because you know we are readers and as much as we like to say I don't judge a book by its cover we judge books by its cover we always buy books off a cover like how aesthetic cover looks it's just it's just the nature of the beast and we have to accept it but this is like another instance where like once it got like the rebrand I guess or the re getting um, a reprint of the cover it fits more or a fit, I think it fits more of like the vibe that we're going for in the book as well as like the color is just like absolutely amazing the next one is actually a book that I did not like <laughs> it's one of the few books on, on the shelves that I kept because of its kind of basis for the rest of this books I do enjoy but that is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo but I also did not want to pick up this book particularly because the original covers again didn't speak to my soul but then I saw this one and it's like all of the gold and the blue and the silver or the gray I guess so it doesn't like overdo it it's just a gorgeous cover I think the recut like the reprint is like absolutely I don't know if it'll focus or if it'll fuck up everything I think the reprint or the re like getting a new cover w was the good choice. Gorgeous and it does speak to kind of the goal in the books more or less. So love this. C love this. Even though if I did not like the actual like the redone version. I did even if I didn't like the plot. Uh, the end pages for this one too is also really pretty. It's like just this version. Only silver. Only gold. Only gold. The next one's actually a pretty new book on my shelves, and in terms of new, I have read this book. I mention this book frequently, but it's new in terms of the fact that it got a new cover and then exclusive content, which is why I bought it. But that is More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. This is a YA contemporary novel. It's Adam Silvera. It's gonna be sad. I have spoken about this book quite a lot on my channel. I think this book, this cover, shows a lot more of the book itself. I feel like the original cover, which is a kind of like smiley faces in blue, I think, was a little bit like it showed the cover but it didn't really it wasn't something that popped i think having aaron um on the front cover and like these kind of block i don't know if you can see it block blue letters it's dark blue on mine but it's light books of the cast and then having aaron actually on the cover with like these very haunting and very sad eyes speaks more to the actual like story of the book oh look it messed up my blue my blue um my white filter there we go I think it speaks more to the book than the original cover does and I really enjoyed this one and I like the little splash and like the the callback to the original cover which is like this blue yellow green kind of thing. It's one of the few covers that on this list that don't fit the whole like kind of like ocean new book and theme. <laughs> the next one's another favorite. I read this last year actually and that is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. No, I read this this year. This year, yeah. Again, another YA contemporary such a good book I, I love the cover too just because it's like it has all the fruit on the front and we have we have emony on the front as well and then like the inside cover with the dust jacket also very good and food covered and it does really uh speak to what the core of the story is which is just emony's love for cooking i also really love the color palette again like i love love, love, love. like it gives the like, kind of like 
I guess a magenta color, almost a pinky magenta, with all the different like complementary colors over here. The next two are because I'm trash, and that is Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. I have a vlog, we all know how I love it, but I love the cover because again, it has like the kind of sunset, kind of ocean look with like the teal blues and the greens and then like the very fiery, almost like sunset orange in the back and with her hair, I mean, that pops. And I think it ties in the entire, like the cover really well and shows a lot of like the focus on Cordelia's hair because her Cordelia's hair is mentioned quite a bit in the series because she does have a kind of like really like long fiery hair good and I remember the uproar the positive uproar because for um, Cordelia is half Persian and the uh, model that they actually used for Cordelia in the cover is Persian herself the next one is another Cassandra Clare book and that is Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare I was a little torn in this cover, I'm not gonna lie. I love the color scheme. I love like the kind of stark yellow against the blue, but just because I think it makes it a little bit more haunting. The one thing I didn't really understand, and I still kind of don't, were the moths. Like I get the symbolism behind moths and I see how they tie into the overall kind of story. However, however, it's just a random detail to add in there. Like with loose, with Cordelia's hair, we had a lot of like fiery like fallen leaves and like just like things that kind of like added texture to the already pretty textured hair but then also mixed with the, the tone but adding the moss I just don't it was a weird thing to add but I love the cover because like I said like the brown and the yeah the kind of like I want to say like almost canary yellow against like the blue the very haunting like white blue is just very it's very haunting and I think it's it shows a lot for the what happens in the book which is very disturbing things again not sure about the moths but I like the haunting tone that comes with just looking at this book it looks very ghostly and very boo the last book in this list is actually a paranormal romance and TV's can be like I hope I think it's what you're talking about and yes you are correct and that is torment by Fa by Lauren Kate I was torn between choosing this one and fallen and like we're probably thinking Therese you already chose like a couple authors like you do you doubled back with some of them but like the reason why is because of the the, the outfits like in in fallen I really like the choppy kind of hair look that was going on in the cover and the blues but I think in I particularly like torment because of like the pose I think the pose is very like it's very angsty even though Fallen could be also very angsty and I love the like, kind of this the very like black and white almost gray colors with some blue hints in there and again the dress I don't know what it was about this series but but there were so many dresses in the book covers that had me just wanting them I don't know why I like this one particular because of the, the layered ruffles even though the first one does have the layered ruffles the first one is sleeveless and I am not a sleeveless kind of gal um I, I don't have the shoulders or we don't fill out strapless very well so I'm very hesitant to wear any strapless but like this one with kind of like the strapless kind of like top here with almost like the lacy, like the lacy kind of mesh bodice I think the dress I would definitely wear and again that long silky kind of black hair that has like the layers in it which I still really want layers but like you know I'm missing the length I also it like even the back is like kind of very angsty and like a lot of the color goes away because I believe this is second yeah the, a lot of the color goes away because like the the two lovers are separated for the majority of this book in this one with a lot of like secrets behind them so like I think having like everything be super dark and gray and lackluster and lacking color kind of feeds to the angst that they're not together which works out really wonderfully but that is it for my favorite covers some of my favorite covers on these shelves I'm sure in the future down the line in a couple of months or so as I acquire more books and I rearrange my shelves I'll have more books to show you guys but until then that those are the ones if you guys haven't if you guys have read any of these books or want to share your favorite covers so I can read them and add them to this wonderful super spacious collection just let me know in the comments but until then hit like subscribe comment and I'll talk to you guys in my next video until then hopefully you guys are having a wonderful week Bye.